welcome ready for those welcome in so in today's video we are doing our last episode of the carry by chris possession series with the monkey paw and we're starting on this screen because i had a question in my last video what the settings were for this difficulty i might have showed them in the first video but i'll show them again really quickly um also yikes on this multiplier and you'll see why i'll scroll through them really briefly just pause if you want to like see them if you want to do this challenge for yourself i think they're pretty similar to my zero sanity zero evidence settings I think the main differences are that the I have 100% sanity, so I can do some sanity tests. I think everything else is relatively the same. Um, and the reason why, let's go up here, the multiplier is so low is because they have nerfed the monkey paw into the ground. There used to be a really good XP farming strategy with the monkey paw. And to balance that, they nerfed how much you get when you add the monkey paw. Um, but if you like change the Chris possession around, it's pretty good. Like it looks like the best one is random <laughs> or like tarot cards and voodoo doll. So, but we are doing the monkey paw. We're only get 2.39 from it and that's okay. Uh, let's go. We'll just go to Willow Street for our first game. And so if you haven't seen the, the previous episodes and how this challenge works, basically we're playing on zero evidence. I'm going to be using the monkey paw to figure out the ghost type. We have 100% sanity. And, like I said, no evidence. And I've been dabbling in strategies on how I want to do this. Oh, oh god, my game, hello. <laughs> and I would love to utilize the wish to see the ghost wish. I'm gonna get my sponge timer up on screen as well. However, it is so incredibly nerfed into the ground. It's incredibly hard to see where the ghost is in the room that it's in that I just don't even want to <laughs> i just don't even want to use it however they actually just released a dev update today that they're going to be changing how the wish see the ghost wish works it's not going to be as dark so you can actually see where the ghost event is so huzzah but that's not live yet so here we are <laughs> um but i think what we'll do first is we will wish to trap the ghost which will cause the ghost to hunt so right off the bat be able to get the ghost to hunt do a couple tests and a bada bing a bada boom um, I'll go ahead and I've been trying to make these videos sort of like makeshift tutorials as well for each, each curse possession. The one thing I will preface with when you use the monkey paw is, is that it's kind of all hearing if you use like if you aren't using t like the text option. If you're using the voice option, it can kind of hear what you say. Um, so I always when I talk about wishes when I'm holding the monkey paw, I always abbreviate them. So like for example, I'm going to say I'm going to W to T the ghost because otherwise the, the monkey paw is going to hear me. Um, actually, let me drop this. I can talk about some like useful wishes. So um, when we wish to drop the ghost, what it's gonna do is it's gonna lock the door of the ghost room and like it's gonna lock the front door and maybe like, a couple other doors nearby. Here, I'll open these so you can see what doors it's gonna lock. So if you happen to do this wish in the ghost room, you'll be trapped in there for 60 seconds and then the ghost will promptly hunt. So it's good to get the ghost hunt right away. However, you could be locked in whatever room you're in. But being in the kitchen, as long as this isn't the ghost room and the ghost doesn't spawn on top of me, I think I'll be okay. Um, other useful wishes, you can wish to change the weather. So if you don't like the weather, you could like change it to sunny weather or sunrise weather, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can wish for sanity, which will put your sanity at 50%. However, it causes the ghost to change its favorite room. Um, wishing to change the weather also drops your sanity. Let me Let me confirm the number on that wish before I tell you. Okay, wish and change the weather drops your sanity by 25%. So we actually might use that to drop our sanity a little bit. Um, wishing for sanity won't help us too much because it's going to put our sanity at 50%. And then most ghosts can hunt at that point anyways. Oh, the ghost is... It sounds like the ghost is over there. Um, other wishful use... Or <laughs> other useful wishes. Like I said, you can wish to see the ghost. It'll cause the ghost to ghost event wherever it's at currently. Usually in the ghost room. But it makes everything super dark and then the ghost hunts. It's kind of like save like the music box, like the ghost ghost events, and then hunts are kind of like the summoning circle. Can be good, but until they fix the darkness issue, I'm not going to be using that. Um, there's a couple other wishes. Like you can wish for life if your friend dies and get them to revive. Um, but that is at the risk of you dying. There's also wishing for activity, which causes the ghost to use its ability more, but it breaks the breaker. So again, I don't really want to use that until I know it's a gin or not. Um, but okay. Uh, enough <laughs> rambling. I think I'm just going wish to T the ghost. <laughs> Actually, I want to try this really quick. I'm not going to hold down V. I'm just going to hold the monkey paw and see if it just hears me. I wish to trap the ghost. 
Oh, it didn't. Okay. I wish to trap the ghost. Okay. Oh, yeah. It locked, like, a lot of doors. Oh, I should have started a timer. So we have 60 seconds before the ghost hunts. We can check. See, it did. Yeah, it locked this door. All right. So I think that's the ghost room. Oh, ghost is, yeah, ghost is in there. <laughs> so, yeah, the ghost will hunt after 60 seconds after doing that. So we're going to do a couple, like, first impressions of the ghost to cross off some ghost types. And I wonder, does it also lock the doors of the room you're in? I'm not 100% sure on that, but we're locked in here. We can't go in the living room. We could go in the basement if we wanted. <laughs> All right, now we wait. All right, so I started my timer a little late. The ghost is hunting. Sounds normal speed. Try to get them out here. Now wishing to- Oh, it's a djinn. Pretty sure. Uh, wishing to trap the ghost does not cause cursed hunts, by the way. Let's try a djinn test again. Ghosty? Yeah. Do you see how she got, like, instantly faster when she came in this room and saw us? Alright. And then the only thing we could do would just be to check for orbs. Make sure it's not a mimic. Um, I think the wishes that cause curse hunts are the maybe wishing for knowledge. Maybe I know uh, wishes to the ghost definitely does. And by curse hunts, it just like increases the time of the hunt. The hunts are gonna be longer from then on. And I I don't know if they still do this. They uh, will reduce the grace period. I don't know if they change that or not. Actually, I should know this, but I'm not, I don't want to like 100% say it unless I 100% know. Okay, so we're just gonna check for orbs. Make sure it's not a mimic. We should be, like the ghost shouldn't hunt because our sanity should be decently honest still. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing any orbs. I think we're safe to send Jin here. All right. Yeah, these games might go a lot quicker than my other curse position videos because I'm not trying to do the whole sanity thing. We're gonna start out with wishing to chop the ghost, but they could be difficult. We could do that and be like, oh, I can't tell what this ghost is. <laughs> okay, Let's mark Jin. So Jin, because she was normal speed, but then when she like rounded the corner and saw us, she got an instant pep in her step. Let's see. Nice, it was indeed a Jin. Made a nice $578 from it. All right, let's go to Ridgeview. And if you're wondering like to where all these curse possessions spawn on each map, I do have a guide. Oh, my game just froze. Um, on where like it's a guide on every map and i talk about where the curse possessions spawn so if you want to know where each of these curse possessions are spawning on each map you can check out my complete guide on all the maps i do talk about that but on a ridge view monkey paw spawns right up here you okay all right so i'm gonna put some salt down that's for wraith and again we're gonna wish trap the ghost and set a timer for six seconds and see what happens Chance the ghost could be in here, but we'll see. I wish to trap the ghost. Okay, timer for a minute. Okay, well, actually, let's see what doors it locked. Not this one. Oh, it locked this door. Are you in here? Mm, I mean, it's looking like it, right? I don't know why I would lock that door and no other doors. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll see. If it spawns in there, we'll know. Wait, I thought this was open for a second. If it spawns in there, then we'll know. Obviously, we'll know where it, wherever it spawns, that's its ghost room. <laughs> I think I also forgot to talk about the wish for knowledge wish, which causes you to not be able to hear or see very well, and it crosses off a piece of evidence and crosses off some ghosts with it. But it, then it also causes the ghost to hunt. Oh, yeah, you are in there. Okay, so normal speed, normal blink so far. Normal throws, not looking like a pulty. Step in the salt, not a raid. I'll probably go and go over here and smudge. I'm not seeing any Obake shapeshifts. Okay. Oh, I don't know why. I didn't really need to smudge them, actually. I just realized because our sanity is way too high. I shouldn't have smudged them. Okay. Well, so far, nothing's super obvious. The only ghost that I can't really test for on this map is Yokai, because the ghost just sees me. We can cross off like Oni, Jin, Phantom, like last game I didn't get the step, the puppet and step. Uh, not visible enough to be Oni, too visible to be Phantom, except in the salt, it's not a wraith. 
Normal speed was also speeding up gradually with line of sight and cross off all these ghosts. Uh, we are high sanity. I didn't notice it being slow, but we could always revisit um, Moroi. I forgot to check for Raiju. Boo. Um, we would have had to turn on night vision goggles to check for Raiju. Um, but definitely not a Thay. Again, we might want to check its speed without any line of sight. Not throwing enough to be pulty. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think miling like it's it's sound sounded pretty normal. Oh, did it just turn on a light? Oh, <gasps> that's huge. We can cross off mare. Thank you. Thank you kindly ghost. Okay. Um other things we could do right now while we wait for magic to happen is we can look for orbs. He was a mimic. Then we might wish to change the weather to drop her. Oh, our, wait. I see any jobs by like 10% and we haven't really been in the dark. Huh. I guess we're in the dark for a little bit getting the monkey paw still it's kind of interesting okay but we don't need to do a bunch of crazy sanity tests to check for mare now does it turn the light on which is huge okay i mean if this is your ghost room i don't see any orbs so i don't think mimic okay you do like this door though i will say that i will say okay We'll leave this here. We could check for orbs later. Um, let's... I do kind of want to wish the weather and lower our sanity. But let's, like, maybe get set up for, like, an Onryo test first. And get some lanterns and a crucifix set up. So if we do drop our sanity and it tries to hunt, we can start testing for Onryo. Okay, so I'll go in with a bunch of lanterns. Yeah, let me get, like, an Onryo test set up. So I do believe the ghost turned off the breaker. So we already knew it wasn't a gin, but now we know for sure. Um, let's put this, we'll put one lantern, oh, okay, right there. <laughs> Maybe one out here and one in here. Okay, we go turn the breaker back on. Okay, breaker's back on. Time to go grab some more things. It just, this ghost absolutely loves turning on the light. It really does. Okay, we'll put one cruci here. Grab some lanterns lit, okay. Wait, I think I brought an extra? I did, okay, we'll put one like over here. We should hopefully be covering this whole area and then we got the one candle. That's just like a static candle on this map, okay. Let me go grab another smudge stick. Maybe um, a thermo as well, cause I kinda wanna confirm if that laundry room is the ghost room. That way if it changes, you can cross off Oreo. And I think the ghost turned off the breaker again. <laughs> Oh my god. It's not a Hantu. Hantus are the one ghost that are more likely to turn off the breaker. Alright, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty cold in here. Check the rest of the house really quick. Yeah. Okay, so that is, I think for sure, it's its ghost room. So if it changes, if like another room all of a sudden becomes way colder, we can cross off Oreo. Okay, well, let me go turn on the breaker again. Alright, breaker's back on. And I think now we'll change the weather to drop our sanity. So we can see. You've broken this light. That's incredible. I wish for sunrise. Okay. Nice. So now we have sunrise weather and a very flickery light. Um, let me go double check what our sanity is at now. Okay, perfect. Our sanity is right about hunting threshold for most ghosts, but still high enough that we could test for like Onryo, even like Raiju. So we do have a video camera in there, so it could, if it's a Raiju, potentially hunt soon. So we do kind of want to try to keep our sanity above that 50%. Alright, so we'll try to sit in the light. Maybe out here. Can I, like, fix this? I think the next time it hunts, it should fix that light, hopefully. And we'll put this maybe closer to the ghost room, just in case. Okay. Yeah, the, the video camera we're putting by the ghost room test for Raiju, because Raiju's going at 65% sanity if they're near active electronics. So far, not a whole lot, though. We're vibing. Yeah, and I guess as a last resort, we could wish for knowledge to try and see what the ghost type is. Oh. Okay, we do have a sing song. I don't really want to touch the ghost event. 
We're at like the perfect sanity. I think the ghost event's over. No. Okay, the light's still broken though. <laughs> oh, I don't really want that ghost event to touch me though. Don't touch me. No, I think it touched me. I think the ghost of it touched me, so let's go see how our sanity is. Yeah, it definitely did, but it dropped by like quite a bit actually. Okay, so I did try to hunt. Um, none of these lanterns were really lit though. So let me try to get these all lit again. Okay, we have lots of firelight. Okay, um, yeah, a lot of this firelight's still lit, so I'm thinking against Onryo here. Alright, and that crucifix has been full used, so I think we'll vibe out in here. Wait for it to hunt, listen to its speed. See if I missed anything speed wise with what it could be. Alright, go see's hunting. So this one's pretty normal speed. That twins. I feel like by now with the Moray, it would. Mm, I feel like Amori would sound different, but... Alright, I think next hunt we'll get set up for a yokai test. And I think way too loud to be miling. Not a Raiji, we didn't get faster around the video camera. Or the motion sensor, I have a motion sensor right here. Oh, and I forgot to cross up Obake earlier. Pretty sure not an Obake. Alright, we'll take this crucifix in the garage with us. Okay, don't have hiding there. Do have hiding here, nice. Okay, so we'll do a yokai, uh, yokai test. I was gonna say yokai uh, spot from this test. <laughs> we'll do a yokai test in here. Also get a smudge timer going. All right, here we go. Ghosty. All right, not a yokai. Smudge you, get a timer going. He really do be lingering. Okay, hunt is over, so we'll go vibe out in the kitchen with this crucifix. See when it hunts again. He's kind of actually. Let's check the temps really quick. Are you still vibing out in here? Could just be Agorio. He hasn't changed his favorite room. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll vibe out here so we can cross off what Yokai? Definitely, I don't think of Maroi. I feel like our Sani's probably dropped a little bit. Not Onryo, right? We cross off Onryo. Turn off the breaker again. Okay. <laughs> I guess Shade we also haven't tested for, right? Back when the, the w wishes you the ghost event or the wish wasn't so awful, you could actually tell Shade if the ghost event, when you wish you the ghost, if it was a shadow or not. However, I, I don't really want to use the wish. <laughs> this isn't isn't fun now. We could go vibe out in the ghost room and see if it hunts. Although, no, I'm pretty sure it hunted. I didn't check what my sanity was when I hunted. Okay, so not a spirit. Probably not a demon, but we have two more smudges we can test for. I, I was gonna say, I think our sanity was above 35 when I hunted. I'm not sure. I think it was, yeah, it was like 40 something, right? Although I guess our sanity could have dropped a little bit. But I feel like it's been doing too many ghost events for a shade, right? Kind of leaning towards Goryo. It hasn't changed his favorite room, but I've also had Yuri has not changed his favorite room. And I think our next course of action is to I do a little bit of a banshee test. We'll sit here and see if it comes over and harasses us. If the motion sensor starts going off. Also, something about the wish for sanity wish, which causes the ghost, like, puts your sanity at 50%, and then also will cause the ghost to change its favorite room. It'll even cause the Gorio to change its favorite room. So, keep in mind if you use that wish and the Gorio changes its room, it could still be a Gorio. Same with, um,. I wish to leave, or is it, I wish for safety. I wish for safety unblocks a hiding spot for you, breaks a light. It also causes the ghost to hear you 
no matter where you are in the map and like sense your equipment, yokais also will then be able to sense your equipment anywhere. So before you make like the wish for a sanity wish or wish for safety wish, you want to do like a yokai test and then also like pay attention to the ghost is changed its favorite room or not. I mean, so far this ghost doesn't really feel like a banshee. Has not really been following us at all. Kind of been vibing out near that room. Sort of leaning towards Oreo here. It could also be Gary that's just not doing its ability. I might do like one more smudge timer. And one more loop with a ghost to get another visual. And then we might wish for knowledge. And see if it leaves us with Gorio. It could leave us with Gorio and Yuri. And then it's just kind of like a guess there, but I haven't heard the Yuri ability. Okay, I think the hunt is over. Oop. Sanity is at absolute zero now. Sheesh. Now I'd love to get the breaker back on. Oh, okay. I said nope, I'm gonna hunt. Can I hide in here? No. Can I hide over here? No? Okay. Well, we'll just vibe out back here and hope he doesn't come down here. Actually, I don't- I think he went upstairs. Hopefully. Oh, he's coming back downstairs. I think- the uh, hunt's done. Alright. So, one more loop. One more smooth shimmer, and then we'll wish for knowledge. Oh lord. Just vibing out here, sipping my coffee. Go said nope. I will hunt this day. Oh. It's kind of interesting you use the crucifix over here. Seems like it's I guess it could have been covering where he just goes to vented. just like just outside the ghost room but okay now I'm seeing any shapeshifts there's smudge timer going well gotta get out of the kitchen okay hunt is over so we'll go and vibe out see what the smudge timer looks like I could have also do like a smudge test with um the yuri and see if it ever leaves the ghost room because they do get chopped in their ghost room for 60 seconds and you turn off the breaker again okay <laughs> that might be worth doing before we wish for knowledge oh and he turned it back on wow okay thank you also you may hear some woofing right now i do apologize He's getting angry beside me. He may use that crucifix. Or if you didn't. Okay, another ghost event. No shot, he's a shade, right? This is like this is like so many ghost events. I will be absolutely shook if you're a shade. Okay, hello. Dude, this is so many ghost events all of a sudden. Really not looking like a demon smudge timer. Oh, my dogs are absolutely sending it right now. I'm sorry. Wait, you turn off the picker again? Oh my gosh. Um, okay, let's do the Yuri test real quick. So we'll smudge it and see if it leaves the ghost room. During that 60 seconds. Um, Our last smudge as well. So I'll either smudge the next time it hunts or a ghost event. Ghost event preferably, because then I'll have the whole 60 seconds to see if it leaves the ghost room. I can also check to see if it's changed its fair room. Are you gonna let me do this though? Put this here. Vibe out over here. Although I do realize I was gonna use that crucifix to save me from the wish for knowledge. Oh, wish. Oh, you hunted like out here that time. I'm gonna loop him a little bit. Smudge timer going. Yeah, so like I kind of want to do the smudge timer during 
an event that way I had the whole six seconds to see if you left the ghost room, but I think that's already over. And I did just hear him activate the motion sensor. What we're looking to see is if he ever oh, has an airplane. He's still in this ghost room. Oh, this is like still his room, I think. Yeah, it hasn't changed his room. Okay, he is he's venting outside the ghost room, so I don't think. Um Gorio. We'll go in just for Oh. <laughs> he did not talk while I'm holding this thing. Um, just for like throne's sake, we'll go ahead and W the K. Hopefully we should be safe in here. Although I'm not really gonna know when the Oh no! I was <laughs> This is what I mean about the monkey paw hearing you. Like I was not holding I didn't even make the wish. I wasn't even holding V. I was just, all I said was I think we'll be safe in here, and it made it just made the wish for safety wish. So what I have to be careful about right now is that I don't talk. Please don't tell me it was just the Yuri ability. I don't think so. I have to make sure that I don't talk in here so the ghost isn't because if I were to talk in here right now, the ghost would know I'm in here. But I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> rest in peace. The wish for knowledge wish. That's what that's what I meant about you. Gotta be careful what you say when you're holding a monkey paw. It is all hearing. I think we're gonna go Goro here. It's about the best I can do. I think the hunt's over and get me out of here. <laughs> uh, I guess a chance for Yuri. Maybe even like probably not a shade. I think it goes too active for shade, but um I didn't hear the Yuri ability. It seemed like it left its ghost it vented outside of its ghost room during that 60 seconds of being smudged, so. Let's send Goryo. I'm not 100% sure. The knowledge wish would have really helped us, but you know, you can't always get what you want. <laughs> so let's send Goryo and see. Nice. Okay. <laughs> All hope is not lost. We did it. Nice. Okay. All right. And we'll go into our last game on Sunny Meadows per huge. And we'll probably keep doing the same strategy as far as wishing to chop the ghost. Um, I'm gonna take a paramedic instead of salt this time. That way we can walk around and try to listen for the ghost. So we only have 60 seconds once we wish to chop the ghost to find, oh nice, the breaker's right here. To, yeah, to find the ghost, so I don't know. Hopefully it's nearby, hopefully I can hear it. Otherwise the wish to chop the ghost wish will be null and void. Okay. I might just shut up while I'm holding the monkey paw so it doesn't do things I don't want it to do. I wish to trap the ghost. Okay. You didn't- I, I think it might just like lock the doors near you. No, because it did lock. It might be- is, is it in the chapel? I do have this- I'm trying to scope my hiding spots in case it is in the chapel. Did you lock this door too? No, okay. Do I have these hiding spots? I don't. Okay, so we'll go. We'll go in the office. Why about there? That'd be so nice if it's in the chapel, actually. All right, so it should start hunting soon. Okay, it is hunt. Oh, okay. I don't hear it in the chapel though. Okay. I don't like hear it at all. Must be like deep in one of these wings, maybe? Let's go check the other side. It should have set a timer for how long the hunt was gonna be. Yeah, it's gotta be like east or west wing. All right, well, that was not informative. <laughs> well, I mean, not a deal, right? A deal would have come and found us. Um, okay, so I guess well, it kind of help, helped us tell like tell us where the ghost isn't right like I don't think the ghost is back there at all Obviously not in the front. So I'm gonna walk around over here 
see if we hear the ghost do anything. I do have a reading right here. I don't know what that's about. I could also look around because it did just hunt, right? So we could look around to see if there are things that have been thrown. Which I don't see anything thrown over here. For sure, if the ghost is on this side, it loves going into this room. Oh, I thought they hadn't fixed the, the dirt floor. Think for a second, but they have. Okay. Yeah, if the ghost has been over here, it'll definitely have come in here. Yeah, no jars are askew. Okay, so maybe it's on the other side. Hmm, I can't. I feel like these things are askew. Surely if it's been in the morgue, it will have like disrupted all the like note cards. Now there's like a bunch of like wishes right here. Did it? It doesn't look like it's been anywhere. Oh wait, I can see my breath here though. Okay, so I think you are in here. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> We found the ghost, potentially. I mean, the breaker's on. We have windy weather, so we shouldn't be seeing our breath unless we're in or super close to the ghost room. So I think what we'll do... Maybe we do a couple, like, before hunt tests. So, like, put down some salts. Look at this stuff right here. Um, maybe set up some candles and stuff for unreal tests. And for the time being, we'll, like, let our sanity drop naturally. Yeah, this is definitely a time... I know I sound like a broker record saying this, but I wish I had some way to check my sanity from inside so I don't have to run all the way out there. Check my sanity. Okay, so current sanity is at 86. Not bad. That's just from, from like wandering around inside. Okay, so salts. We'll go and take a couple lanterns down. Because we could potentially get the early on uh, hunting on Rio ability. If we get three firelight down there. Yeah, to extinguish it. Maybe I could have brought a thermo to confirm that that's the ghost room. I think this is the ghost room. <laughs> Turn on the sink in here. Okay, perfect. All right. So I'll just kind of litter some salt around the room. Like here, maybe like one in the doorway. In case it wants to meander out. Okay. And we'll set up some lanterns right here for now. Um, I just want to grab maybe... Maybe like another lantern, crucifix, maybe a motion sensor, just in case it doesn't step in the salt while well, I'm going to get more things and we can see if it's just a wraith. Okay, so it's only job to just buy like 4%, so we're still chilling. Okay, this, this, and motion sensor. All right. Now for this, we should be good to just vibe out inside, wait for it to hunt. I could wish for sanity and get my sanity just down to 50%, but... Uh, maybe we just like, oh, I should, could have also gotten a video camera check for orbs. I swear if it's a mimic and I, because I forgot to grab a video camera check for orbs, it takes me forever to figure out. It's so sad. This ghost is doing all the things in here. Okay, it did step in the salt. It's not a wraith. I must put you like in the middle. God, it's so loud in here. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll put that there. You in here. The lights did a flicker for a second. Okay. <laughs> All right. Did I have this? I do have this hiding. That is so huge. Okay. So for now, I'm going to light this firelight. See how it makes it feel. I guess we could also try to listen for like a banshee scream. But we can cross off. We can cross off Wraith. Not a Wraith. It's definitely salt. That's about all we got so far. I don't like the flicker of the lights. It does like hanging out by the trash. Like a lot. Okay. Oh, actually, let's. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, now Anri only has a chance to hunt after blowing out three firelight. But because it just blew out three firelight and didn't hunt, doesn't mean it's not an Anrio. Which means if it is an Anrio, it didn't use its ability. Okay. I just move this over here in case we can see if it's like prioritizing being near me. Yeah, that is so loud. This is so disgusting. I had one firelight extinguished. Oh, hello. Okay. 
Okay. Let me light that. I'll give it like another minute or two and then I'll probably turn off the lights and let my sanity drop. Okay, just touch the door, blew out a firelight. Yeah, after that one time I blew out all three firelight, it's only been blown out like one at a time now. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off these lights. I let my sanity start dropping. Actually, no, I like this locker better. My musical lockers right now. I also haven't gotten a parabolic response yet. Not the sinks again, man. <laughs> and one firelight. Actually, no, two already been extinguished. Hold up. Okay, blow out a firelight. You want to blow out two more and be an Onryo? No? Yeah, so the way the Onryo firelight early hunting ability works is if it blows out like three firelight, usually I say within like 30 seconds, could be even a little bit longer. Um, it has a chance of hunting at any sanity. It's not guaranteed, like the couple times I've had it happen. Hi. Oh no, my emotion sensor's broken now. Um, a couple times I've had it happen, it wasn't like the first three firelight being blown out. It was like second or third try. Motion sensor's still broken. Yeah, there's this weird bug with airball ghost events. They just like break my motion sensors. That or I am the ghost. Motion sensor's trying to tell me that I am the ghost. You need to leave, you're in danger. Oh, that's actually... That's helpful for a sanity drain. However, you blowed all my firelight, so... Okay. I imagine your sanity's gotta be decently low by now. Aha! Yeah, so I guess they're probably not on Rio. I mean, I feel like it's relatively ad adequately covered with firelight. So... You're not on your also, did you turn off the- No, you just used a crucifix. That's why the lights are off. Okay. So we are gonna go over here. Oh, I should also play let's maybe try to check our sanity. If I can. Eh. See if we can oh, well no, probably not a shade, right? Maybe I should check it for mare. If I can. So if we can oh, they're hunting though. I should listen to it. I don't know why I'm hiding. Wait, you are hunting, right? I heard the door slam. That was normal speed. Ghosty. Probably not a ride you. She didn't get like that much faster. Or like she didn't affect my radium farther away. Ghosty? Ghosty? Okay, not a yokai. She found me. Okay. I didn't learn like too much from that. I don't know if it's worth checking my sanity, but I'm going to anyways. Because I mean, our sanity could be like somehow above 50%. But we have been in the dark for a little bit. Hit by the ghost event, so it could be pretty low. Okay. Didn't make it outside. Let's see, what is the sanity at? Yeah, I can't tell from air or not. My sanity is... See, I think... Do my sanity pills... I think they do stuff. What does this put it at? I think they do 20%? So it actually might be perfect to test for air. Actually, no, that's, yeah, it is, it is. Don't go above 60. Okay, so we could go sit in the light and see if it hunts, and we could test for mare that way. I forgot that my sanity pills actually do stuff. So we'll try to turn on these lights. Just vibe out here. And I'll set a timer for like maybe two or three minutes. See if she hunts. But I mean, from the brief visual, I can tell you she's not a phantom, not an oni. She didn't get to do the gin speed up when she saw me. Don't think she's affecting my radio from far enough away to be a Raiju. 
Um, my sanity was at like 30 something percent, so Maroi probably would have sounded like the fast twin. Definitely not a rev. She's speeding up with Ansight on Hansu. She was normal speed, not twins. Definitely, I mean, if she's a Thay, no, she was speeding up, right? So it can't be a Thay. Like she's gradually speeding up as she chased us. I didn't think I looped her long enough to see for a Bake. Um, found us when I was crouched and used my radio. Could hear her footsteps before my radio started staticking, not a miling. Um, I'm not sure. Oh no, she hunted in the room with us, right? She used the crucifix, so probably not a shade. Not an Onryo, she used the crucifix by lit candles. All right, now I just wait to do a little mare test. All right, so it's been about three minutes, no hunts. I'm just double check my sanity. Yeah, sanity is definitely at the mare hunting threshold. So I think we can safely cross off probably like mare and demon. We'll see, obviously we'll check this in much time, and if it's very obviously below 90 seconds, we can go demon, but. Um, I think next step, we'll go sit in the dark for a little bit. Get her to hunt and try to actually loop her, check for Obake, smudge her, check for spirit. Okay, so we'll just sit here in the dark until she starts hunting. Shouldn't take too long, I'd imagine. Been sitting here for a couple minutes. I haven't hunted yet. Hopefully we're technically in the dark right here. Oh, Jesus. Wait, what? Why are you so fast? Oh, you're a, you are a mimic! Um, dude, I, I jinx myself. I, I just, I jinx myself. I should have looked for orbs. Oh my god. Imagine. Uh, imagine. Well, at least she was very obviously a mimic there, and I didn't have to, like, be like, okay, I don't know what this ghost is, and then check for orbs, so. Oh. <laughs> but, like, a, a, a 20 plus minute game that could have been saved just by, you know, bringing up a camera. But, in my defense, this is one of the farthest rooms from the van, so. And I only have three hands. Um, I do well, kind of want to do the wish for knowledge wish just to show you all what it looks like but like if she becomes a dio again it's gonna be really awkward because i'm not gonna be able to hear very well so and since we know what the ghost is i might politely <laughs> just not do that oh my god wait do we have is there a camera in the morgue i should know this there is not okay i feel a little bit better Imagine there's just a camera like in the or in the morgue and I could have checked right away. Okay. Well mimic because she was not a Dio any other time. All of a sudden she became a Diogen. So <laughs> load on C. Wait, that oh that's interesting though. Because Dio's have to wait till 40% of sanity to hunt. And she did not. Uh, ah. Weird. Okay. Well, there it is. There's some monkey paw games. Um, I used to really love using the monkey paw whenever you could like wish to see the ghost and it would spawn right in front of you. It was a lot easier to do a lot of tests, but now it's like really awkward. The ghost kind of spawns wherever it is and it's hard to see because it's dark. But like I said, they are they are planning on improving the wish to see the ghost wish. They're not going to make it dark until the ghost starts hunting. So that will be really nice for getting the picture and doing some other tests. Um, but that is the final episode of the Carry by Curse Possession series. I hope you all did enjoy. Actually, I had a lot of fun using the cursed possessions to figure out the ghost and the evidence. Some more than others. <laughs> Monkey Pot Wood might have been one of my least favorites because I liked the cursed possessions where I could kind of control my sanity a little bit more. Also get the ghost to like do a ghost event so I could test for phantom and, and whatnot. But still a nice little challenge. So like I said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, if you did like the video, make sure to drop it a like. If you love, drop me a sub. Good luck ghost hunting and I will see you in the next one.